are just bumfuzzled, if you will, by the president saying he is going to veto this bill. The bill puts protections in place to make certain that we do not have Syrian refugees or those terrorists who are going to come into this country, those with ill intent coming into the country and doing harm to the American people. This is not that difficult to figure out. I mean, we have uh, ISIS and the terrorist organizations who are very transparent in the fact that they intend to do us harm. They are making moves. They are now exporting terrorism. They have talked about coming in and circumventing our immigration systems and uh, utilizing the uh, DACA program that the president put in place, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, and getting these young men who fall into that 14 to 17 year of age category into the country. So we know they're exploiting it, and it just is wise to say, hey, we're going to put a halt on this until we figure this out. Absolutely. And, you know, Congressman, there was a, a report in Investors Business Daily uh, late last night that it's the U.N., working with an Islamist group that has ties to the Muslim Brotherhood that, that, that is in charge and oversees the resettling of Syrian refugees in America. That, that the scenario and the, it does not go the way the president uh, has outlined it. That, that it's the, these people who would do the picking. You're, you're exactly right. What they are saying is, trust us, we have sources in, through the U.N. in Syria to vet these people. I said, my goodness gracious, most of these people have falsified documents in the first place. They are not who they claim to be. 